Hello and welcome to this episode of Friday Spiritual Lectures. So today I'd like to talk about forgiveness. The motto for this past week has been, I offer myself the same forgiveness that I offer to others. So here's the question. Why do we find it easier to forgive others than to forgive ourselves? We forgive other people for some of the biggest and most deliberate harmful acts done to us. And yet we struggle to even find a small piece of forgiveness for ourselves. Why? Why do we not deserve the same level of compassion and understanding from ourselves? You know, one of the first things I learned about forgiveness, and so were many others, it was in primary school and Sunday school. It was the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Beautiful sentiments, I thought. We are asking the universe, God, to forgive us, and we're encouraged to forgive others. But gradually, I began to realise that there was something missing. Forgive others and ask the universe to forgive me. But where's the part about forgiving ourselves? We've never needed to ask the universe to forgive us because it doesn't judge us. I mean, more than that, the universe doesn't actually care what we do. And it's actually got no opinion at all on our endeavours or on our hearts. So why would we want to have a solution from an entity outside of ourselves that just doesn't care what we do? And the next passage. We are asked to forgive others for the way they have hurt us. Forgive even if they feel no remorse for what they have done. So we want forgiveness from the universe and then we're expected to forgive others. And yes, I totally agree, forgiving others can be truly freeing and immensely empowering. But there are no lessons in there for self-forgiveness. Feelings of guilt and shame, which most of the world carry, are huge burdens. They stop us from shining, from being truthful from dancing as wildly as we wish, and from laughing from our deepest sense of joy. Compassion is something we aspire to offer others. When someone makes a mistake, we listen to them. We understand their reasons. We help them to feel better about themselves so that they can be free from all the burdens of what they have done. And yet, we seem unable to do this for ourselves. It seems that any little thing that we have got wrong, that we've done wrong, we hang on to it. We allow the thoughts to run riot around our minds, stopping us from sleeping, making our hearts pound, bringing fear into our lives. We fear that we'll make the same mistake again. So our lives become a little bit smaller because that fear creates a barrier to our expansion. So it's time for us to ask ourselves, what exactly is it that I have done that is so terrible? What crime have I committed that is so shocking that I do not deserve forgiveness? It's by asking ourselves these questions that we begin to free ourselves from guilt. We have to begin to see ourselves as just as worthy as anyone else. If one human being deserves forgiveness, why don't others? Why don't I? You know, family, society, religion, all these can have given us a sense that we are not worthy. But a part of life is growing past the restrictions and the beliefs that have been imposed upon us. The beliefs of an ancestor do not have to become ours. We have a choice about who we become and how we see the world. Remember also that life is not as simple as black and white. There are nuances. What we decide is so horrid and not worth forgiving is actually not as dreadful as we think to someone else. And finally know that as a human being, we are not designed to be perfect. In fact, there is no one ideal of perfect. So if there's no perfection, there is nothing we need to live up to. And then we can begin to relax into who we are and just enjoy this imperfect journey that is life. We take the pressure off we will see that we don't make mistakes we 
just experience life. And hence we don't need forgiveness. So I hope that will help you. I hope that will realise that you are immensely special. And that everything you do is okay. And that gradually self-forgiveness will become a natural part of your day. I'm sending you many, many light blessings. And thank you for being here today with me. Bye-bye.